I so love this watch. I seriously do. Well, anyway, let's start today's video. You know what? Um, let me show you. So, this thing has arrived, which is an additional cooler for, uh, well, additional CPU. Then, this thing has arrived, which are wireless access points, which I will be either installing DD VRT or um, WRT actually, or uh, well, leaving um, at its default settings because, well, I don't need anything smart from them actually. Hmm. We'll see. So, the next thing that arrived is this thing, which is the uh, power for the, uh, well, for the CPU. Some Xeons have arrived and are in here. I had a shitload of CPU actually. A couple of hard drives, and when I say couple, I mean like a shitload of hard drives, seriously. Uh, these are all uh, hard drives for my server, which are 300 gigabytes. This motherboard is actually faulty. Okay, and some uh, RAM memory. So, uh, you know what? First of all, let me show you the idea. <laughs> so, yeah, she's not interested in my videos anymore. Yeah, she's Stella. Stella. But if you tell her cookie in Croatian, Keksic. Yeah. <laughs> she's a lady, old one. Anyway. This is my old server in which I have a Active Directory. It is for testing purpose. Um, Pi-hole, which is the uh, well, I use it to remove ads. You can actually uh, there is a video how to create your own server. PFSense, which is some sort of DMZ, not the real DMZ, but a DMZ for my virtual machines. Now, the problem with uh, this configuration is that I only had one. LAN connector, uh, which kind of sucks because I need a couple of networks. Now, fun fact, these USBs actually work with the ESXi uh, out of the box. The brand is Ugreen and uh, they're not cheap, I believe they're like 10 bucks each. But for 10 bucks gigabit Ethernet that works with ESXi, that's win in my opinion. I will be leaving the uh, uh, link in the description down below because the seller is quite nice and everything arrived, well, in short period of time. This is not sponsored, obviously. Anyway, so what I will be doing actually is creating another server, which is the uh, well, the one you see you've seen before, and I will be uh, replicating machines from this server to this one and from this one to this one. So I will have a constant backup, and uh, also I will be creating a DMZ uh, access points, which will be an internet access uh, for uh, my guests. Now, this internet access will actually go through VPN server. So, it will go something like I will get connected to the internet, then internet, then I will have a you know, VPN connection which will be another virtual machine on this server and of course replicated on this one and vice versa. That thing will be connected to my PFSense which is firewall, software firewall. And that thing will be via the uh, uh, output, will be connected to the uh, uh, access point, the Cisco one you've seen, uh, Linksys, the, the one you've seen before. So that way when the guest arrives they can surf, uh, download torrents for all I care, uh, anything uh, via this uh, access point, uh, which uh, it will be public and I, I wouldn't care uh, if uh, anybody does whatever they do, it will be for free. The, 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 this will be like uh, something I share, I always like dreamt of uh, being able to go uh, everywhere and connect to the uh, well, free internet access, but unfortunately a lot of people are shit and they do shitty stuff, so that's why I need to protect myself with the uh, VPN server. The next thing from this server I will be connecting is my Apple Time Capsule which and the uh, Synology server. They will be both on the uh, 1.0 network. And uh, uh, Time Capsule will be also used as the access point number 2, which will be my private network. So. Uh, that I can control my Apple TV and whatnot. So uh, that will be uh, on the uh, one zero, on the uh, fifty and sixty. The sixty will probably be this DMZ, and fifty will be this DMZ for the internal virtual machines. Now, since I, know, I mentioned in here uh, replications, um, I will be doing also backup of every single virtual machine, and this thing will be backed up to uh, Synology. And I'm not quite sure whether I'll use a Synology as uh, data store uh, on ESXi 
or not uh, or I will be just creating a share uh, and uh, copying to it I'll probably be, I'll, be, I'll probably just create a share because it's way easier not to hook everything up uh, without any needs so anyway uh, this is uh, my this is planned for my network at home and uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you uh, So anyway, I thought that it would be interesting uh, for you to see how to configure this thing and if you'd like for me to record every single part of this, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. She's awake. Stella? Anyway, so... I need my two Xeons, which are this one. Okay, I actually have this Nokia for a repair that I got off of Hrelich and it is actually working but this connector is fucked up so needs to fix that so this is actually all of the uh, server memory and here I think yes so many good memories <laughs> the next I will be upgrading this thing with is one of these cards which is a uh, gigabit ethernet I'll see which one I'll take and um, eh, yeah I actually have this. Uh, no, this is the uh, yeah. This is the uh, HP P400, which is the which has a 512 megabytes of cache. This is the uh, RAID controller, and uh, this one is in here is the P200. So this one is well obviously better, and I actually have in here uh, the uh, battery for the cache, which is 4.8 volts. It's written in somewhere. Unfortunately, the battery for this thing is well done. However, as Baldrick says, yeah, I need this thing as well. Yeah, it's a few. You know what? Yeah. I uh, actually bought, no, this one is for three, this one is for four, which is 4.8 volts. And I bought this one, which are Nikel Metal Hybrid, which is basically the same as this battery, and I will be soldering this thing. So, I'll show you the idea before we continue. So yeah, this is a bit dirty, but what can you do? Anyway, I'll disassemble this thing and show you how I saved 80 bucks. And you know what? Let me show you the exact price of this thing in just a second. So yeah, I was actually wrong. This will actually be a video because I just figured out how much money <laughs> does this thing cost. So if you have an older one like I do with the faulty battery, you can actually buy this thing. This is a case for four double-A batteries, a triple-A size and just solder it onto this and I'll be showing you how to do it and you'll basically save 110 euros this is insane, this is a fucking battery and you know what's actually said that you're expected to throw this away even though the electronic part of this thing is actually working normally insane I do actually believe that this thing has been repaired but not by me I will actually make this thing a separate video just so that I can show people because this is insane. Now you can actually buy uh, four uh, batteries that are already uh, well glued together but uh, A it's more expensive and B this way you can actually just swap batteries every couple of years with the minimal cost there is. This is insane. So yeah. So yeah, 4.8 volts nickel metal hybrid. So yeah. Fuck you, HP. Okay. And, yeah, this is... Uh, oh boy. So this is the A minus. Let's cut this thing. I don't think that this is the original battery, but whatever. Okay. So, let me see if I can just remove this thing. Yes, yes, I can. And, so... Uh, this is the plus and this is the minus, obviously. So, as you can see, the uh, right part in here is the plus and this one is minus. So let me see if I can actually cut this thing. Just a second. So... Minus plus. This is insane. 
130 euros for what? Oh, well, and you actually need to have the battery because you cannot uh, have a uh, well, cash or not, not. Okay, and uh, so as you can see, this is uh, these wires are crossed now, but uh, this is actually good because you don't have anything pulling the wires. So this is actually kind of awesome. And that way you have uh, this thing, uh, electronic, which is protected as it was. And you have a battery in here. Well, battery pack. I believe that this is a <laughs> way cheaper solution and maybe uh, those zip ties or whatnot to hold them for to, to the server. But yeah. So yeah. 130 euros saved later. Anyway, so now that after I've uh, done all of this, uh, let's hook everything up to the server. And this one is it. Let's hope that these drives work. So, see you back in my living room. Uh, I have already opened the uh, case and uh, Let's begin, I guess. Now, first of all, uh, I will be removing the, uh, well, the CPUs. And I'm not quite sure whether I've changed the thermal paste or not, but let's hope I uh, did. But you know what, actually, even if I did, I will be replacing this thing with new CPUs, so a bit pointless, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Okay, anyway. So this is the old CPU I do not need. And I will be replacing it with the brand new one, uh, which is this one, quad core, uh, 3.16 gigahertz. So let's remove the CPU. Okay. So far, okay. Now let's remove this thing. And let's install another CPU. It's funny how there is no... Uh, it does not have the angle on the other side, because you see the CPU has on the other side and the socket does not. But yeah, oh well. So, the second CPU is installed, which is awesome. Now this is actually... For the, this thing, which is the power for the CPU. This is a kind of shitty design. Oh well. It's HP, so let's be real. Anyway, now I can actually put the fans back. However, uh, I do need to put some thermal paste in here and in here, so let me get the uh, thermal paste. I am using the MX4, which is uh, I'm not sponsored or anything. But it is well, an okay thermal paste, so you know what? This this will be my uh, professional spreader. Okay. That was like OCD right there. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let's put this thing back. Okay, and uh, yeah. So this thing on the uh, on the other side, and uh, hook this thing up in here. So the fans have been almost connected. I'm just kidding. The fans have been connected. So the next thing I will be doing is actually installing two things. Install this one because it is HP branded network card. So yeah, I guess it is quite easy, you just need to press this thing and this thing, and yeah, this is actually awesome design. And the controller in here, below. The cool thing about this controller is actually that you can, well, this is so easy to install, seriously, and yeah, you can actually pull these and just connect them, so this is awesome. 
but yeah this one is a bit longer so I guess they did think about this thing now the configuration of uh, P400 and P200 is basically the same so uh, yeah well anyway this is it and I will be removing this thing because I do not need this caching anymore and I'll be showing you how to repair this one but uh, it will be the same principle as the uh, one before so the next thing I need to do is to open these batteries the seller told me that they were finest Chinesium ones yeah anyway but for this thing they are good enough to be honest I never heard of this brand and after this video I probably never will but yeah well anyway this thing is turned on there are no lights in here but we'll see when I connect this thing to the uh, well to the uh, you need to connect there is a little bulge which you need to just to press into the cache so yeah uh, this thing will be holding on in here and the last thing I'll be doing actually is installing RAM I believe this is quite easy just maybe press this thing so, yeah okay just press this thing upwards yeah okay no biggie so first of all so these modules are one gigabyte and I do have a couple of uh, four gigabytes one which are these ones I actually ordered 64 gigabytes for this server so this is just so that I can get these videos started um, yeah mm -hmm. by the way this uh, These plastics, they look like they are so easy to break, so yeah. So this one is 4 gigabytes as well. I have two that are fours. So you know what, I'll install these ones as well. So this is like 8 gigs, 10 gigs. And if I had like 4 more, I have like 14, so... No, this is actually, sorry, this is 4, 8, 16, 18 gigs. So, let's have 20 gigs of RAM. Well, to be honest, let's hope that this thing turns on. That's the first, that's the first thing I am hoping for. And then if this thing turns on, I can actually worry about RAM. But again, as I said, I ordered the 64 gigs of RAM for this server. So, and basically, that is the uh, most expensive thing I have uh, paid for this server, which was around 100 bucks. Everything else was nothing. But since I do want to use this thing for my own personal needs, uh, I do need the memory. To be honest, I don't need this thing anymore. This is two, 2 gigahertz, so yeah. Now let's set this thing to standing. And, oh boy, this is heavy. And see if this thing will turn on. I would like very much for this thing to turn on. You know what, first of all, I forgot to install the hard drives. So let's install these ones. 300 gigabytes and well, to be honest, let's hope they all work. One will be a terabyte, one which will be an SSD, and only one drive, because uh, this one will be cloned to the uh, other machine, which also has a terabyte one, so there is no need for any kind of RAID in here. If this thing goes south, I'll just replicate from the uh, other machine. Okay, so the moment of truth. And I already see that... Uh, well, in here there is uh, auxiliary, so I'm guessing that the battery is now uh, working. Auxiliary is uh, lit up. So okay, so now we have standby, we have auxiliary and power. Now let's hope that this thing actually boots up. I think it will. It might. <laughs> Thank you.
Now the first boot up is usually, uh, well, it takes a bit longer, so uh, let's wait and see what will happen. Yeah, no. Come on. So the screen did turn on. However, yes. Okay. So the hard drives are actually two quads. Awesome. Yes, 16 gigs of RAM. Awesome. Unsupported processor detected. What? Seriously? I might need to update BIOS on this... Uh, on this uh, computer. But it is booting up. So this is it for this video, I hope you found it useful a bit. And again, if you do want me to uh, record everything regarding my own network configuration, uh, let me know. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please click thumbs up, consider subscribing. If you did not, well, you know what to do. Uh, and yeah, until the next time, I guess. Cheers.